jumper that was worn by Princess Diana is predicted to sell at auction for up to £70,000. Well, you may remember this one. Uh, there it is. There it is there. Red uh, and, uh, and, and white uh, sheep. And, uh, is there black sheep There's amongst There's one them? little black sheep in the middle, yeah. In the middle. Uh, but would that not be seen as racist or something offensive nowadays? Well, I don't know. I think perhaps there was a hidden message in it all, but we'll get into that with Kinsey. But this jumper, this very famous jumper, has been lost for decades, hasn't it? Uh -huh. um, and it's going to be offered for the first time uh, in New York at Sotheby's in September. Well, I, I want to know. I was asking today. So who's put it up for sale? Who was it lost to? Yeah. Who Whose found attic it? was it yeah. in? Whose attic did I find? Suddenly this could be worth sixty to £100,000. Mm. Uh, Royal and showbiz reporter Kinsey Schofield. Let's go to her live. <gasps> What? Is that the one? What? 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 What is this you've got? This is this is a warm and wonderful. Um, they make they make copycats of it. This is like the one Emma Corrin one wore in the crown. And you know what? You guys came to the right person because I've got it in vest. <laughs> I've got it in chicken. I've also got it in. I've got it in reindeer for Christmas. There's a little black reindeer on there too. I am your girl. But no, I, royal fans are freaking out about this, Isabel and Eamon, because this is one of those items that really we identify with Diana. We we identify um, her as this fashion icon. I'd say it's revenge dress, then the black sheep sweater, then maybe the wedding dress or the Travolta dress you are at the White House. But it's the, it's so important to royal watchers because it it's a way that Diana told us quietly that she might she might not feel like she fit in and there were actually two of these uh, a friend gave her her first jumper and she accidentally tore it with her giant engagement ring from prince charles at the time so she wrote warm and wonderful and asked them if they might uh, repair it for her and instead of repairing it for her they actually gave her a brand new jumper Crikey, imagine ripping a jumper with your diamonds. I wonder if Kate has the same problem, because she has the same ring, doesn't she? Um, but th this is fascinating. So you actually think that Diana was communicating how she was feeling. So the, the idea with, th with this jumper, that, what she was the black sheep of the family. <gasps> Yeah. yeah, I mean, that is what she later said, that she felt like she didn't fit in. And that was the way that she quietly told the world through her wardrobe. Gosh. Or oh, maybe Megan will bid for it. Oh, yeah. I've, I have already thought about that. Boy, oh boy, have I already thought about that. I don't, with Netflix and everybody pulling back, though, I don't know if she's got the 80 grand. Well, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> True story. That's a, good, that's a good point, yeah. Um, listen, you know, what is happening in Sotheby's, obviously it's happening in September um, and in New York. Are there lots of royal watchers like you in the States that you think are going to cough up for this? I do. I mean, obviously, I'm going to have to sell a body part if I want that. <laughs> Don't do it. And I'm Kinsey. willing to do that. I'm willing to replica. do that. But, but I, I think that we would at least hope that it would go to because, like you said, this was found in Warm and Wonderful, one of their the owners, their attic, because they sent her a brand new one. They held on to the old one and totally forgot about it. So I think the hope is is that someone will purchase it that will allow us to enjoy it too, so that we can get a sneak peek of it in real life and and see this this sweater that she was so in love with that she wanted it repaired. She didn't want it. She didn't want to. T toss it. Um, she wanted to make sure that it stayed a, a part of her wardrobe. And it really, truly, it just is one of those things that we think, we think of Diana, we think of this sweater, we think of her youth, we think of her innocence. It's such a beautiful piece of history. Mm. Well, and, and have you ever bid for anything at, at auction, Kinsey, or do you have any memorabilia, any famous memorabilia from, from someone? Only Isabel is going to care about this. I have a dress owned by Kris Jenner, and I oh. have a purse owned by Kourtney Kardashian. <laughs> oh, wow, oh. that's really cool. I love how they sell this stuff all the time. You can get your hands on that. Yeah. Um, I went, I to, I went to bid for John Wayne's toupee in, uh, <gasps> from, from True Grit and an eye patch. And my wife told me that she was going to leave me. I should have taken her up on the offer if I, if I was going to buy those. The, the, the toupee was a bit mouldy, I have to say. Oh, but, um, but it would no. have looked 
Fill your hands, you will can't say that line. No, yeah. don't. Yeah, yeah. But I just don't personally <laughs> see the need when you can do a Kinsey and you can have a chicken version, a tank top version, yes, yes. and the replica jumper. Yeah. Why spend 80 grand on well, the original? But anyway, we don't know the answer to whose attic it was found in, do we? Where's this jumper? No, it was, it was the owner of the Warm owner. and Wonderful, the oh, creators of the jumper. Right, we got wow. that. There was an exchange made when Diana asked them to repair the original. Got they it. kept the original, made her a brand new one. And this is up for grabs, Sotheby's New York, as I understand it, yeah? That's right, September 7th, um, you know, I'm taking donations. Uh, if you, <laughs> I'm willing to marry the person that's willing to buy it for me, we'll see. Yeah, well, you can begin to save up. Thank you very much indeed, Kinsey Schofield, the one and only. Thank you very much. <laughs>